Welcome back. Today we are going to learn, how to make profession looking logo for your YouTube channel. You don't need any creative mind, just follow some simple few steps. This tutorial will guide you through making custom logo, using text only, but you can add your own shapes if you can create. You cannot create this kind of logo, because it required creativity and designing knowledge, but you can create this easily. The right one. So, let's get started. After this award winning intro. We will be working in Photoshop, but you can even make it in Microsoft Paint. Technique is, we are using only initials of a name, let's take someone from my subscriber list. By the way, thanks for the 3000 subscribers. I am selecting this Rifei, Malyadi. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce this name. You can choose your own name initials, but for this tutorial I am randomly selecting someone. Let's copy his name and delete everything, except R, and M. We are going to work on this initial. Now go to 1001 Fonts website, check this link in the description below. This website have huge collection of cool fonts and absolutely free. No need to pay anything. Just enter your text here, and hit enter. This will update all font into your name initials. RM. RM everywhere. Choose your category for font type you want. And see which attracts your eye more. I am going with poster category, but you are free to choose your own. Let's remove narrow, and continue with poster category. Scroll down the page, and see which font you like. Not found here. Let's check on page 3. Make sure to choose a different font from rest, but keep it simple. Not too much fancy. Fancy is not professional. I am going with this font, name Plaster. Download from here and then install in your computer. Double click on the font file and click on install, it will install in few seconds. Close this window and jump right back into Photoshop. Go to file and create a new project. I am choosing height and width to 1000 pixels. Let's rename this project. RM. Underscore. Logo. Hit OK, and you will see your canvas here. This is your toolbox. Select text tool and start typing your text. Press CTRL plus ENTER to eject from this typing tool. Align your text into center. And change its font. Go to character and type name of your font which you just downloaded. In my case, my font name is Plaster. Let's increase the size of your text from here, and align it again. Perfect. Now create a new layer from clicking on this icon. This layer will be our background layer for filling color. Click here and choose color from this color palette. I suggest you to choose a soft light color which looks good. Press Alt Backspace key to fill this color in this layer. Let's change text color also. I am going to change it white. So it will look great with this color. You can also play with color of this background layer. 
press Ctrl U to open hue saturation, and adjust these bars. Please subscribe my channel and check my other uploads. I am going with this color shade. This looks good. Let's add long shadow to this text. Press Ctrl J to make a duplicate of this layer, and change its color to black. Please note, this layer is below from the main text layer. Press Ctrl T to transform, and type angle to 45 degree. Remember this number, because we are going to revert this step. Press and hold Alt left arrow key to make duplicate of this layer. Arrow key defines where your copy is going to be. Make around 100 copies. Now, select all copies by holding Shift key and press Ctrl E to merge them together. Press Ctrl T again and change angle to minus 45 degree. We rotated it 45 degree before, so for reverting back, we are rotating it to minus 45 degree. But this shadow is not complete. Hold Alt key and drag this layer, this will create another copy of this layer. Repeat this step until you get a long shadow. Select all these shadow layers and merge them. Change its opacity to something 20%. And your logo is ready. You are free to experiment with the color, for example you can add gradient. Select your gradient tool, and draw like this. If you double click on this layer, you can add layer styles to this text. From here, you can add bevel and emboss effect. But I suggest you to keep your logo simple, add minimum styles only. Like pattern or gradient. Keep it simple. Many options are here, but don't apply all of them together. I am leaving it without applying any layer styles, you can even add pre-made styles to your text. Go to window and select styles. This step is just for showing you these styles, but I found them useless. Yuck. 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 They are also useless, because they are not visible on small screens. So, here you go. If you found this tutorial helpful, please leave a like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.